Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. In today's video, I will be sharing with you my July favorite things. Now just like any other month, I'm sharing six of my favorites with y'all and they can range from beauty and cosmetics to food to sales, planner supplies, just any type of product or thing that has stood out to me in that past month. So we're going to get right on into it with my favorite lip product right now. I have been on the hunt for a new lip gloss, um, some kind of lip protectant for several months now and haven't found anything until now that I really like. And excuse the packaging because this has been crammed into my little beauty bag and my purse. But my favorite right now is the Chapstick Cake Batter. This is amazing stuff. I have them. I had this package here and you can see I've used one while I was on vacation. This whole thing has been in my little cosmetic thing in my purse. I have one by my bed. I have one in my work bag and I absolutely love it. And let me take it out of the package so you can see it. This is what it looks like. It says cake batter and it's got a cute little cupcake and says chapstick. This works very well. I can apply it and go for an extended period of time and not have to go back and reapply it. I like the scent of it and I highly recommend this. I got this from Walmart. I know some people when I posted a picture of this on Instagram said you could not, they could not find it at their local Walmart. Try Walgreens or Target or Kroger. Any of those I would think would have this. So this, and I've got many others. Some people said mint was their favorite. So this just right now is my favorite um, type, the cake batter, but there are many other scents that the chapsticks come in. Second thing we're going to talk about is one of my old favorites from like my college days, which was about 15 years ago. And while on vacation, I brought it back out and I'm like, now I remember why I really love this fragrance. I've been a Philosophy Amazing Grace user for probably the past six years, but this has also been one of my favorites. I just haven't used it as much as the other. And that is the Victoria's Secret Dream Angels Heavenly Angel Mist. And I want to say this comes in a perfume too, but I have it in the just mist. And y'all, it's very nice um, scent. It's not overpowering. I'm one of those that I don't like any type of perfume that is very strong because it gives me a major headache after I wear it an extended amount of time. So I like things that are light and fresh um, smelling. This is definitely that. And the reason I took this on vacation instead of my Philosophy Amazing Grace is because it is in a plastic container. So I did not have to worry about it being in my beauty caddy. And if you've not checked out that video, I'll put that link in the description below on how I traveled with my makeup and beauty items on vacation. So I knew this being a plastic bottle, it would be fine in my beauty caddy. And I was getting pictures to use for the blog post for this and I realized that now the packaging, the packaging has changed. So this still smells great. I know it's not old, but I'm not sure at what point they changed their packaging. But now it does not look like this. And if you click on the blog link below and go to my blog, the picture does not look like this either. But I absolutely love the Heavenly from Victoria's Secret. Now, number three is something else that I took on vacation, and it was one of those little last-minute purchases. I purchased something from this website, and I've talked about this website before. Purchased it for my husband for Father's Day, and I was like, well, I'm going to add that product too. And it is the Toddy Gear Pocket Toddy. This is what it looks like, all folded up into its nice little package. 
And I can't remember the name of this print here, but it's in the description below. But if you look, and the back is a screen cleaner. So the reason why I got this was I needed something to put in my little traveling um, pharmacy. And I will share that video with how that's all put together and what I have in it in August. I needed something to clean my phone and my sunglasses and my eyeglasses and I found this little product so it kind of it folds out like so and you can fold it out and you can actually pop it out here and it becomes this little rectangle so this is a little decorative side here and then the cleaning part is on the back so this worked wonders on vacation for my sunglasses, my eyeglasses, and my phone. I use this a lot more than I actually intended on using it. So some people said it was very hard to put back together. I've never tried to put it back together, but let's see on screen. So I'm going to fold it back out like so. There's the little part there. And it kind of automatically folds itself up like so and you just fold it down and it folds right into the little pocket well i didn't think that was hard at all and i'm actually thinking about getting my husband one of these for his stocking for christmas they cost roughly i want to say 13 dollars I want to say and they come in I want to say 20 or 25 different prints so I highly recommend this loved it on vacation and it will go with me in my work bag for school as well now fourth thing I'm going to talk about is a food item I didn't forget this month so and remember I am a gluten-free person so everything I talk about has got to be gluten-free now, I don't know about y'all, but throughout the day, I don't try to snack very often, but sometimes I will get that little craving, the little, my stomach telling me, hey, I need some food, but I don't want to eat a heavy snack. So what I do is I will purchase these. These are the Blue Diamond Lightly Salted Almonds, and they are made with sea salt. And I was getting the little round little tin. And then I realized that I was not the only one eating them. My husband and my daughter were eating them as well. So I decided to purchase the big pack this time. But I love these. They taste good. They are a great on-the-go snack. And we try to keep these in our pantry at all time. Last two things I'm going to talk about I actually don't have in person. And the first one is going to be a sale. And... If you follow me on social media and if you've heard me talk in the past about my clothing hauls, you probably already know what I'm fixing to mention. And that is the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Now, I will tell you that Marnie from Miss Gold Girl and Schaefer from Schaefer Told Me Too both introduced me to this fantastic sale three years ago. I really didn't know anything about the Nordstrom anniversary sale and how wonderful it was until those two ladies share the information with me. And I will put the links to both of them below. Marnie has a YouTube channel and Schaefer has a blog. But the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, what makes it so fantastic? It is that they put items on sale that haven't even been put out yet for fall. So you can get fall items before they're released at a discount. And the last three years, I have taken advantage of this. Last year, I actually got a Nordstrom card so that I could do early access. And I did the same, and I used it this year. And my mom also buys me Christmas presents in this, at this sale because they're things that are high-quality pieces and that I'm not going to get it on sale at any other time. So I'm not going to tell you what exactly I got today. And I did share a snippet of what I got on Instagram. So if you don't, or in Facebook, because my Instagram and my Facebook are kind of linked. So when I share something on Instagram, it automatically posts to my Facebook. So I did share a little snippet there of the items that I did purchase. But I will share all of them with you on my fall clothing haul. I really enjoy doing that with y'all. So, um, 
make sure to look forward to that. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in September or October yet, but I've already got my list started with the things that I have started to purchase. And right now, all of them came from that sale. So if you've not checked that out, I highly recommend it. By the time this video is live, it should be live for the public. At the beginning, they just open it up to card members. And then I think it is the 21st this year they are making it, or the 24th. I can't remember one of those dates they're making it open to everybody. But I learned the hard way last year that if you find something that you really want, buy it when you see it because if they sell out, they normally don't restock. So where there, there were a few items that I actually had to call around at the stores and find and have them ship me and have them shipped to me. So make sure if you see something and you like it, get it. If you don't like it when you get it at home or realize you spent too much money, you could always return it for free. And that's another fantastic thing about Nordstrom. It's free shipping and return. So if you get something and you don't like it, you can ship it back with no problem at all. So next thing, staying in that, my sixth thing that I'm going to talk about that is my favorite. I'm going to talk about a bra today. I don't, I've never mentioned some kind of intimate apparel like that, but I'm going to talk about a bra. I was a huge Victoria's Secret fan from probably since I started wearing a bra until about two or three years ago when I was about 33. I'm 35 now. And then Schaefer introduced me to the fantastic Notori bra. And I gave it a shot when the anniversary sale was. And y'all, they're roughly about $45. And you might be thinking, oh my gosh, that's a lot of money for a bra because that's what I was thinking when I made my first purchase. But I'm like, she swears by this bra. All the bras that I have from Victoria's Secret, they don't hold up. They look horrible after a short period of time. I'm in the market for a new bra. I'm going to try it. It was normally like $77. So you get 30 something dollars off if you get it during the anniversary sale. So I tried it and loved it. And I actually purchased another one during the sale this year. And here is a funny thing. So I decided this year that I was going to buy another bra because the other two that I got, I purchased, I think two years ago in 2015. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to purchase another one because, you know, the first two I, pro I have are probably, you know, starting to look a little bit dingy. So they had six colors in the sale and I went and looked and I'm like, oh, I don't know what color I want. Let me go see if the bras that I have, if they're starting to look kind of bad and which one looks the worst. So I went and I looked at the two Notori bras that I had and I'm like, they still look brand new. Hmm. I didn't realize that. So I, brought, I bought two bras two years ago and two years later, they still look brand new. So yes, I spent 40 something dollars on the bra, but it has been well worth the investment. So I just decided to get another neutral one to because I don't like I just like neutral colors when it comes to bras I don't really know why that's just what I gravitate towards so if you've never tried the Notori bra I highly recommend it and evidently from reading the reviews many other people like it as well and that is all for my July favorites, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed all of the products and the sale that I've talked about this month. If you are interested in purchasing any of these products, check the links in the description below. If you click on a link and make a purchase, I don't make a profit at all. It is strictly for your benefit. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. And I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you all have a fantastic week. And until next time, bye you guys.